And new at 5 o'clock tonight, demolition crews are now at the Oak Tree Apartments. Right now, the city is tearing down the huge abandoned complex at this very hour. And our own Mary Mills is now looking at the controversial history as well as the plans for the future. Let's knock down some buildings! It was a milestone many years in the making. Dozens cheered as demolition of the Oak Tree Apartments began. Even the chilly rain couldn't stop people like Rhonda Spicer from capturing the moment. Very important because I'm tired of the, uh, just a building standing here doing nothing. The sprawling complex at 42nd and Post has become a scourge. Hit by a tornado and the scene of numerous fires, it also became a hot spot for crime and violence even after the health department condemned it in 2014. We eliminate a lot of things with, with this coming down. We eliminate uh, the deaths in the area. We eliminate the crime in the area. We eliminate the, the places to go in the area. While the city won the fight to tear down the buildings, it's still working to acquire the site through eminent domain. Community leaders thrilled at what's next. I'm just thinking about all the open, all the opportunities that it's going to provide for the far east side to have this land. And I, I'm just thinking about all, all of the programs and the space. And we could do so many things. It's a it's a grocery desert out here, so I would love to see some type of grocery store or strip mall go up here. Demolition is expected to take about six months, with the city hoping to get ownership of the property within the next year. Mary Mills, Channel 13 Eyewitness News. Thank you, Mary. And even though that complex is vacant, we're told there have been 28 police or fire runs to that property since 2016.